Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. It's Kato, and today I have one of my most anticipated reviews that I may have ever done. Finally, finally, I get my hands on Valiverse Action Force Sergeant Slaughter. Now I've got most, I think I've got the entire first wave plus a couple of accessory packs, and I'm going to review all those. But this is the one that I was looking forward to the most when it was announced. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to roll the intro and get started looking at Valiverse Action Force Sergeant Slaughter. It's Kato! Now, I typically don't do full-on unboxings, but because this is the first figure I'm going to review from a brand new line, I'm very interested to see how Bobby Valla and the Valiverse team packed their figures in these boxes. I will say, uh, this one came in with just a little damage, and I was a little concerned, but thankfully, the box was packed so well by the Valiverse guys, that's the only thing that happened was the boxes dented up a bit. I don't keep the boxes, so that's not that big of a deal. First thing I want to go over are some things that Bobby announced not that long ago in a video that he put out on his channel. He mentioned that some of the figures might arrive a little stiff because of shipping, humidity, you know, weather stuff and coming across the grand old ocean. Uh, there's no telling what kind of weather they run into and sometimes the figures could show up a little stiff. It's nothing new to action figure collectors, we know, but they were kind enough to put in this letter, basically showing a couple different ways, of course the warm water and the hair dryer way there to loosen up those joints. Very kind of them to do that. And that's another thing I'll say about overall about the whole Valiverse launch and the crowdfunding. He has been and the team has been very forthcoming about time delays, and issues, any issues they had along the way. That's a big deal for collectors, I think. It was for me, and I imagine it was for everyone else. Also, there's this little thank you letter in here for supporting uh, Action Force. I did order mine from the crowdfunding site, CrowdOx, so I, I guess that's why uh, mine came in already. I know other folks are getting theirs as well. But let's get to the box. So the packaging itself is pretty straightforward. I love it. It's that faded green and some camo in here with the Action Force logo, Sergeant Slaughter, and the Valiverse logo. This is what we can expect from the rest of the figures. Action Force there on the side, you get this great shot of Sergeant Slaughter 0106. I'm imagining that is Series 1, Figure 6. On the back, you get the shots of... Uh, yeah, the other figures in the line. I've got Condor, Bone Collector, Steel Grenade, uh, Steel Brigade, Swarm Trooper, Carrot. Yep, I've got the entire first line. Little uh, QR code there and a bio of Sergeant Slaughter. Go ahead and pause that and read that if you like. I love what they did with him in the comic. And on the bottom, you've got the barcode with some more information about the figures and all that nonsense there. Let's get this guy out. I'm not gonna cut. I'm actually gonna open it on camera. I don't ever do that. So inside the box, I did already cut the tape. You've got this clamshell. Throw that box down there. And it is a double clamshell, so the figure is covered in the front. I like that a lot. Pop this off right here. And you've got, oh, look at that. That's nice. So they have, uh, like a lot of premium figures come with, you've got this little plastic cling over the top. That's, I really like that a lot. I wonder if they're all going to have that. And then, of course, you've got Sergeant Slaughter here in the box or in the packaging. Got him, some extra hands, uh, his knife, sunglasses there. Now, the rest of this I'm going to take off uh, off camera because no one likes to hear that crinkly plastic happen for that long. So I'll be right back. He comes with a, a, a grip hand already uh, on the figure on each arm, but you also get two closed fists. You get two trigger hands left and right. You get two open palms left and right. You get this great pointer finger. I love that. Sergeant Slaughter is obviously going to be telling somebody where to go. 
You get his drill sergeant cap. This actually comes on the figure in the packaging. You get his blade, black handle, silver grip with serrated edge. Of course, that eagle there on the back, that is awesome. And you get his hand cannon revolver. Very cool silver paint with a black grip. That looks amazing. Notice that hole there because blast effects are incoming. And you have his iconic sunglasses painted gray with some black paint there on the front. Be careful with these. Not that they're super fragile, but they would be easy to lose. In case you're wondering, they fit on his head just fine. They don't really snap. They just lay there. So again, be careful. They could be really easy to lose. And lastly, you get a figure stand. And I believe a figure stand comes with each one of these. You get the uh, deep cut there for the Action Force logo. Diamond plate with one, two, three, four pegs. So you're not just limited to just one peg stand for a foot. You can actually pose, pose them around a bit on that. Uh, hollow on the back. But man, that looks fantastic. In case you are curious... The blade slides right. Oh man, that is a perfect fit. Putting the hand cannon in, just put the tip right there and that'll lock in place just like that. Oh my gosh, look at that. So I went ahead and switched out the right hand to put the trigger finger in and slip his hand cannon in there and he holds that really well. I had no issues putting that in there and it just kind of snugly fits in there it's not going anywhere now on the right hand i left the hand that came on the figure and slipped in the blade now one thing to be careful of is there's so much detail on this this little beak right here i had no problems with it but when you're putting that into the palm just be careful because i could see someone overdoing it and popping that little beak off of the back of the handle here just be careful with that oh my goodness y'all this is awesome all right so i've got him on the figure stand and another thing to be aware of is the pegs on the stand are kind of tall that's a good thing but it is something to be wary of because as you push down on here it's a pretty tight fit i'm sure after doing this a few times it'll loosen up giggity but just be careful i don't want to see anyone snap these pegs off while they're uh, putting the figure off and on here, but he stands up loud and proud. Not a single bit of wobbly looseness in there, and he looks awesome. Oh my gosh, look at that green jacket with his black tank top in there, camo pants. Let's get up close here. Look at that camo, that dark green. Oh my gosh. It is gorgeous. The boot laces. Man, Bobby Valla, what are you doing? You've got the knife holster here. Uh, it is unattached, so it can move around a bit. And the same with the gun holster. It's unattached, so you can move that around. you got some silver in there for his belt. Oh, my. Look at that jaw. Come on, man. Let me... There you go. I'm going to put this up here. Throw a picture of the man himself up to the right. Look at that head sculpt. Man, does he look awesome. Oh, you got your slot there for the backpack for the accessories. The wrinkles in the jacket. Oh my goodness. Y'all. Absolutely beautiful. I don't think I've ever called Sergeant Slaughter beautiful before. Look at that. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Articulation. The head will rotate 360. It's on a ball joint at the top of the, at the base of the skull and a disc joint there underneath, if you can see that. So he can look down. Oh, that, yep. Yeah, that's exactly how he should be looking at everybody. Look down like that. He can look up really far. I don't think there's anybody he needs to look up to. And you've got a good bit of side to side there. Uh, yeah, good bit of side to side. Oh my gosh. Now, I didn't do any of the loosening, uh, the heating up of the joint, so I'm going to take it easy. 
rotation at the shoulder 360 it will go up it seems about that far oh no he can go further that's good it was just really tight so he can go straight out you do have a butterfly joint in there you can see it right there butterfly back and forth that's great upper bicep swivel and double hinged elbow and it's got a nice spot here in the elbow for it looks like a little bit of plastic from manufacturing in there nice elbow there so it hides a lot of that what do you not see pins beautiful pinless elbows love it rotation at the wrist because it's just a peg and you've got an in and out at the wrist wrist there yeah and it's working fine not stuck at all that's good for the waist and the abdomen uh, of course his jacket's is going to block some of that but you've got plenty of ab crunch uh, less back because of the jacket but still it's there a lot of wobble going on so you've got joints here and here for plenty of movement of course rotation at the waist is great for the legs i don't want to mess that knife up you've got outward movement so basically the full splits outward you've got oh more more than a straight kick up that's him putting a boot to your face right there you've got back movement like most figures a little hard butt shell is going to stop it from coming back all the way but it will drop down so that you can get back a great deal nice drop down hips rotation at the upper thigh uh, let me get this up a little bit so i don't pinch that but you've got double hinge knees again that same type of joint that was in the elbow so you can get way back there um yeah i think that's that's to get that kind of articulation those joints aren't always going to be gorgeous but i think he does about as good a job as you can do and still make everything look right when it's standing up and i love the seams in that again pinless joints i love it and that that right there that's about as loose of anything that i've seen and that's nothing you have rotation at the upper boot and you have some ankle tilt and pivot oh yeah for a quick size comparison here he is with some gi joe classifieds now as i do more reviews i will be able to compare these more within the same line but i'm not opening any of the other ones until i review them so for now gung-ho and flint and tell me they don't look great together so there you have my review of the very first figure i've touched in the valiverse action force line and it absolutely deserved to be sergeant slaughter if this is any sign of what's going to happen when i open the rest of these boxes and this is just series one we are in for a treat of figures guys thank you so much for hanging out with me i really do appreciate it uh, if you like this video hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button and be on the lookout for more Valiverse reviews. I'll have a playlist set up as the figures go on so they'll be easy to find. Uh, subscribe to the other Rejecticons at Sardin News by 2 Larkin's Lair, and Inu Tabi. And until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut, maggots! It's Kato!